let us jump into incident matrix now incident matrix is built when you need to gain the information regarding which branches are incident at which nodes and in what orientation particularly so when you have a network you name every node and you name every branch after naming all these branches and nodes there is a particular convention or the rules which which are written on this slide starting from this rule we have uh, if branch number k is going away from the node then it is assigned plus 1 so in the matrix we will write plus 1 against the branch name for that node all right and if the branch number k is coming towards the node then it is assigned with minus 1 so a particular branch if going away from the node it will be called plus 1 if a branch is coming towards the node it will be called minus 1 and if the branch number k is not associated with a particular node then it will be assigned zero these are the simple rules to build a matrix let us quickly see the example to understand it better so we have this particular network wherein we have a voltage source and other five resistors we have named four nodes a b c and d and we have named all the branches as 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so now we are going to build the number of branch or the branch number against the number of node so remember in the convention for node a branch number 5 is going away branch number 1 is going away and branch number 4 in com is coming towards the node so 5 and 1 will be positive and 4 will be negative one similarly for b for node b you have branch number 1 coming towards it so it will be minus 1 and branch number 2 and 3 are going away from it so those will be positive rest will be zero similarly you can build the matrix for c and d so this is how you can build all the matrix and the incident matrix will be just the matrix form of all these data so in the rows you have four rows for four different nodes a b c d and you have six different columns for the branch numbers so six branches are present and four nodes are present as you can see that the addition in each column goes to zero 1 1 0 1 1 0 so the characteristic of incident matrix is the summation of all the values in a particular column in an incident matrix is always zero so even if you have one row less so you can ultimately find the value of the unknown quantity in the uh, remaining row so whenever you have a network you you need not build the matrix looking at every node if you have four nodes if you write the information of any three nodes it will suffice and you can always build the remaining row values by just looking at the existing values this reduced row matrix is known as reduced incidence matrix and if you try to do so it will look like this here you do not have the node b data which you can build from the remaining data as you know the sum of all the column values is zero so 1 minus 1 it is already zero so this should be zero this should be zero again Should be minus one to cancel out this one. Should be one to cancel out this minus one, zero and minus one. This is how you can build the remaining row. So it is nothing but the incident matrix with one row lesser. So I think reduced incidence matrix and incidence matrix are clear. Now let us solve a simple problem wherein we have to draw the graph for this particular matrix. We have given the matrix and we need to draw the graph. there are four nodes as we can see a b c d and there are six branches again by looking at the values we will decide the branch exists in between what nodes so let us first draw four nodes let us say four nodes are like this a b c and d so for node a or let, let us say branch number 1 the so branch number 1 is coming towards 
B and going away from it. So you can draw branch number one like this. Branch number two is going away from B, sorry, going away from C and coming towards B. So this is branch number two. Similarly, for three, you have it is going away from D and coming towards A. So this will be branch number three. For branch number four, it is going away from D and coming towards C. This will be your branch number four. For branch number five, branch number five is going away from C. Coming towards B. So you have another branch going away from C and coming towards B, which is branch number 5. Okay? And next up you have a branch going away from A and coming towards D. So you have such a branch, right? This is branch number 6. So, this is how you can draw a graph. And similarly, you can feed the same matrix data to a computer, and your computer will build such a network. Similar to how your mind works right now while solving this problem, the computer will work the same way, but just quickly. I hope you have understood. I will meet you again whenever you call. Thank you so much.